How's everybody doing today? My name is Wild Leprechauns, or Cody, whichever you prefer. And today I'm bringing you another Isaac special feature, and in this one I'm showing you guys a uh, pretty cool tactic that you can do with either the Book of Revelations or the Yum Heart, but you have to have both the Wafer and the Habit, unless you don't have the Womb Unlocked, and then you could just do it up until the Depths too. But first off, I'm just going to say that this is kind of a cheap tactic, because it makes you invincible, basically. Because all you have to do is you just have to face plant enemies. The first thing you want to do, though, is you want to look for the stores and buy the habit. That's like the first step. If you can get the habit, then you're on the first step in the right direction to get this to work. Then the next thing you want to do is, if you have the wafer unlocked, you want to find the wafer. If you don't have the wafer unlocked, then you can do this all the way up into the depths, too. But after that, everything hits you for a full heart of damage. So you basically have to uh, take two hits in order to do what I'm about to say. And that is, with a habit, you want to get either the Yum Heart or the Book of Revelations, like I said. And when you have the wafer and the habit, that basically makes it so everything that's going to hit you, because of the wafer's effect, is going to do half damage. So that means that for every full heart of damage you take, you're going to get a full charging item, because the habit charges three times for every hit out of the, the six that you need to use the item, the spacebar item, I should say. And with the Book of Revelations, every time you get the full charge, you can activate it and get a full soul heart. So basically what you want to do is, if you have soul hearts, you just want to smash into things. And with my character, it helps because I got the virus, or the poison touch, whatever you want to call it. So now when I bump into things, they get poisoned. So with this character style, it actually helps out a lot, because I'm just going to bump into them, and they're going to take damage. And then if I bump into them a second time, I can heal myself because of the habit, the wafer, and the Book of Revelations working pretty well together. Now, do note, if you're on lower floors, besides the chest and stuff, the Book of Revelations will spawn horsemen, so you'll get the cube meat guy that's following me right now, you get the different port parts of it, and uh, eventually you can maybe make the full meat boy, and get an achievement and stuff for that. But right now we're just going to see how it works against the blue baby, because I already did this against Isaac, and basically all I did was it rammed into him, repeatedly getting the poison effect on him, and then I just kept using the space bar item whenever I had to, just so I'd become invincible, basically. And you can see, it's done a pretty good chunk of damage to him just doing this. Because I have, like, no damage on my tears, so this is what I have to resort to, unfortunately for me. But, uh, it's working pretty well. You just gotta make sure you hit the space bar as soon as it's fully charged, otherwise you'll miss your opportunity to get the health back and you can start losing it if you're not paying attention. You can see, he's basically done his next last form, so now I just gotta watch out for these guys. And I'm just gonna keep ramming into him, keep getting that poison damage going, and eventually he'll be dead. And then I can just kill the rest of the guys in the room, basically, and then I, uh, done with that. So that worked out pretty well, I think. It's a pretty cheap tactic, especially with when you get other things that cause damage and other things come in contact with you. Like, if you get a whole bunch of, like, orbitals and stuff, it could work better. But, um, aside from that, it works pretty well, so you could try it out, guys. I wouldn't recommend doing this, I'd recommend just getting like a stronger build if you can, because the build that I have right now is pretty terrible. I mean, I'll show you the stats. It says I have like a good amount of damage, but it's really not true. We got like no damage, got no range, no speed, no fire rate really, so it was kind of a poopy run, but I was able to like scavenge it out I guess by figuring out this strategy during the run. And I've, I'm sure you've probably seen other people do this, but just thought I'd show it to you guys anyway. So hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next video. Bye guys.